Today, we're gonna find out the truth about water conditioners. We're gonna find out which one's the best, we're gonna find out which one's the cheapest, and we're gonna find out which one's best for you. But first things first, why do you need a water conditioner? Well, obviously you need one because there's a bunch of them on the market, but why would you need it? Me personally, I like to use the same water that my bait or my fish come out of. You know, kind of like when you're filling up your live well and you put the fish in it, the water that fills up your live well comes out of the lake that the fish came out of. And I like to do the same thing with my portable coolers too, get the water from the lake I'm fishing at. But sometimes the water where you're fishing at is very stained, then it's hard to see your bait in your live well. Also, I've ran into this problem too. I've gone to get minnows to crappy fish with. I take my portable cooler in there to get them to fill it up with their water and they don't want to give you the water that their bait's in. I actually had one person to tell me there's a sink over there that you can use to fill your cooler up with. And I was like, no. Because tap water has chlorine and fluoride and all different kinds of chemicals in it that's not really harmful to humans, but it'll kill your bait. And that's the place where water conditioners come in. Now I've got three of the best water conditioners on the market, and we're gonna run tests on them to see which one's the best. But first, we're gonna need some bait to run these tests with. And since minnows die so easy, we're gonna use minnows as our test subject. Know what I'm saying? Yes, we know what you're saying, because you say it all the time. What you got in there, better bait? Mm -hmm. It kills chlorine, don't it? It does. Yeah. It treats the water, kills the chlorine. It might be a dozen in here. If you I just wanted to put a couple of big ones in there. Okay. Might bring them back and give them back to you. The ones that make it if you want them. <laughs> so half a dozen of those and how many little ones? And three dozen. Look. So we got our minnows back home so we can start on our little experiment. Now that we got our minnows home, I'm going to take this bubble box off because this runs off of batteries. I'm going to plug up an aquarium pump to it. We can plug into the wall and it'll run indefinitely. So now we got bubbles coming from a wall outlet. And we don't have to worry about a fish dying. The water's nice and cool too. That'll help keep oxygen in the water, keeping your water cool. This insulated lid worked really good coming home on the back of my truck. And I believe this was on one of my hack videos. So now when we got a bait fish in our cooler, the sun won't be beating down and penetrating it and making the water hot anymore. Next, we're gonna have to clean out the old fish aquarium and fill her up. So the first experiment we're gonna do, we're gonna fill up our fish tank with pure tap water. Nothing else is gonna be in it, just tap water. The reason we're doing this is because I don't know how fast the chlorine in the tap water will affect the minnows. Okay, so we at Walmart. I need one of those little nets for minnows and I need a bubble stone. That'll do. So I'm making this video and I ran into a couple of my subscribers. What's your name? Wesley. What's your name? Eli. You got what? Eli. Elijah. <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> He's a little shy. So, you're a preacher? Yes, sir. Where's your church at? That's uh, Lincoln, North Carolina, Long Souls Baptist. And y'all need to go check out his church because I'm sure it's cool because he watches fishing and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're back from Walmart. We got our bubbles going into our tank. We'll make sure they got plenty of oxygen. We can't blame it on that. The water temperature is about perfect. Got our clock set to 1.30. We're gonna start putting the minnows in here and see how long they live. This is straight up tap water. That's four. We got a big one. All the minnows are still alive. 
I've had these things for like three hours now. Okay, so all our little minnows in there, and we're gonna see how long they can survive in plain tap water, which means it does have chlorine in it. They're kind of staying at the bottom of the tank. And their gills are moving a lot. I'm wondering if they're struggling to get oxygen or if that's normal. I'm not no minnow expert. That one little minnow, he's just swimming around everywhere. He just jetting all over the place. Well, they're doing better than I thought they would. We only got two fish down so far. I thought for sure regular old tap water would kill them faster than that. But I'm gonna leave them in here just a little bit longer. Well, as you can see, they all did. And that's tap water versus treated water. I haven't lost a single minnow in this one. Okay, so I cleaned my aquarium back out and I actually got out my other aquarium to make things easier. Now I need to fill this one back up again and we're gonna run a test. Okay, so first up, we got one of the most popular water conditioners on the market. G-Juice is used by a lot of tournament fishermen to keep their catch alive. It detoxifies nitrates. I think that's how you say that. I'm gonna fire you. You can't fire me. You don't even pay me. It removes ammonias, chlorine, chlorides, and heavy metals. It relieves stress promotes healing, and replaces slime coats. According to the way this thing says to mix it, one half ounce treats 30 gallons of water. Now, something that's cool is this thing has a little measuring cup. And as you can see, you can measure out a quarter of an ounce or a half ounce. So if you fill up this little part right here, you can treat 30 gallons of water. Our fish aquarium is 10 gallons, so we just need it right under a quarter of an ounce. But I'm gonna put a whole quarter of an ounce just to be on the safe side. And after treating it, you might can see, you see this fish tank? It's got this pretty blue tint to it like a swimming pool. Our minnows are now 24 hours old and we hadn't lost any. So I'm gonna put some minnows in there and we're gonna see how long they stay alive. We need to get a big one. Here's a big one. We'll set up our timer and we'll put in the oxygen and see what happens. So these little minnows have been in here for like 12 hours, maybe a little longer than 12 hours, but you can look at them until they are doing just fine which is pretty impressive. Now we're gonna fill up this aquarium. We're gonna take the oxygen out of this one and stick it over in this one. And we're gonna try another water conditioner called Finer Shiner. And if you look at what it says, it's a water conditioner, removes chlorine, lowers shiner losses. It says it hardens scales. This stuff's actually four shiners. But when you read the back, it does all the same things that the G-Deuce does. And I gotta say, this stuff really does work because these minnows have been here all day. If they was about to die or something, they wouldn't be so dang lively. But let's get this filled up and let's try our finer shiner out. Two fish were in a tank. One fish turned to the other fish and said, do you know how to drive this thing? So on the G-Deuce, Remember, we used a half an ounce per 30 gallons of water, and it give you a way to measure it. Well, on this finer shiner, in the directions, it says to use a quarter of a teaspoon per gallon. It also gives you a way to measure it. It says one quarter of a cap full. So this cap is a teaspoon. And since our tanks are 10 gallons, that means we're going to need two and a half capfuls to treat this water. So as you can see, the G-Juice is a slight blue color and the finer shiner looks like a 
emerald green. But the thing is, you can still see through both of these waters. I mean, they're relatively clear. They just got a tint to them. Now we just need to put our fish in. Oh, and move our oxygen. I got these fish moved over here from our other tank and I'm gonna grab a few more. Yeah, now we got a load. We starting to back up. We're gonna let it run a while and see if these fish survive. Well, they all been in there for a pretty long time and they look like they're doing just fine to me. So obviously the finer shiner works just as good as the G-Juice. So it's been over 24 hours and the fish are still alive in this finer shiner. It seems to work good. I ain't crazy about the green color, but it works. I like the blue a lot better than the green. So we've tested out finer shiner. We've also tested out G-Juice. Next, we have butter bait. And butter bait is also made by the same company that makes finer shiner. Well, this butter bait works really, really good. It's called a minnow holding formula. If you look up the uses for G-Juice, it's also to be used in minnow buckets. So they're basically for the same purposes. And if you read the container, it says conditions of water, removes chlorine, keeps bait frisky, lowers bait loss. But you can basically use either one of these because they do the same thing. Also something I like about better bait is it turns the water blue. So does G-Juice. The finer shiner turns it green as we found out. But the color of the water's not what's important. It's only important if it keeps our fish alive. I put minnows in the G-Juice and left them for 24 hours and they all stayed alive. I put minnows in the finer shiner, left them for 24 hours, they've all stayed alive. Well this butter bait, I'm not even going to test because I've had minnows in this butter bait for three days now. The butter bait's what's in the cooler where I'm getting all the minnows out of because the store that I got them at, that's what they use to keep their minnows alive. So we already know this stuff works cause it's been three days since I bought these. So we got finer shiner, we got butter bait, and we got G-Juice. And knowing that all three of these work, the best question to ask ourselves is which one's cheaper? And I done a little homework. Taking into account that there's eight ounces in a bottle and a half ounce treats 30 gallons, that comes out to like 480 gallons that G-Juice will treat with a whole bottle for $15.99. Now the better bait is $18.99. And these 10 ounces treat 500 gallons. You see that right there? Okay. The finer shiner is also 10 ounces and it also treats 500 gallons. So these two containers treat 20 more gallons than this container. But this container costs $3 less than these two containers. So if you're buying the small bottles, the G-Juice is the cheapest. But the thing we found out today is all three of them work good. Treat your bait tank with some of this stuff and your water can be nice and clean and still keep your fish alive better than lake water. I'm just saying. Well, these tests was very, very interesting. And honestly, I don't know which one the winner is. I just don't, I just don't know. But after doing all the math, I probably will be using G-Juice from now on. Oh, and if you're interested in a portable live well, then go watch this video right here because that little portable live well is awesome. I'm serious, go watch it because this video is over. <laughs>